What's up guys, Lou here, back with another video, and today we are going to be testing out another microphone. So today we are testing out this guy, and this is the Klim Voice Multimedia Microphone. And if you are interested in this microphone, it'll set you back about $27 on Amazon, and as per usual, I will link it in the description down below. And in case you are wondering, this is a USB microphone, which means for the majority of people, it will just be plug and play, which is the case for me. And my microphone input gain is currently set at 25% on my computer. So I would normally talk about what you get in the packaging, but all you're getting is the microphone with a USB cable already attached. So let's just go ahead and talk about the build quality. So it isn't all plastic build, but at least it feels like decent plastic. It feels a little bit better than the majority of desktop mics I've tested in the past. As far as features, it does have a neck that articulates to help get the microphone into the correct position. It also has a mic mute switch on the neck, so right now you can hear me. Now you can hear me again. On the base of the microphone, it actually has a toggle switch that you can press to turn on and off the LED lights on the base. And this toggle switch also adjusts the volume of the microphone. I'm personally not a fan of this toggle switch because there's no way of telling what your actual microphone gain on the mic is set to. And for some reason on the packaging, it seems like they're trying to market it as a phone stand because they show it as a phone stand. But this is only an iPhone 6 and it almost seems like it's too big to function properly. Now as far as specs, as I mentioned, this is a USB microphone so you should be able to plug it directly into your computer and it should work right away. The frequency response is listed at 100 hertz to 10 kilohertz, which is not that good by any stretch of the imagination. But when I listened back to something I already recorded, I thought it sounded pretty decent. And the polar pattern is listed as omnidirectional. So I'm just going to go ahead and spin this microphone around to determine what the actual polar pattern is and how the frequency response changes as we move to different orientations around the microphone, if at all. As you can tell, the microphone's right in front of me between myself and the keyboard, and now I am banging on the keyboard to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I am about one foot away from the Klim voice. Now I'm about two feet away from the Klim voice. Now I'm about four feet away from the Klim voice desktop microphone. Okay, so now you can see that my sound preferences are open. My microphone input gain is currently set at 25%. I'm gonna go ahead, drop it to 0% and slowly increase it so you can hear what kind of background noise is generated by this microphone. 100%. Okay, and now since this is just a desktop microphone, there's no way to mount it. I'm just going to do a quick test playing my acoustic and singing at the same time to see how it sounds. And she doesn't give up. So overall, I think it's a decent sounding microphone, but I think the use case is very limited. For gaming, I don't think it's a good solution because it's omnidirectional and it's a desktop microphone, so it'll be sat on your desk right next to your keyboard and pick up all the keyboard noise that you have when you're clickety-clickety-clacking away playing WoW or whatever. For music, I don't think it sounds that great, but if you are just going to be using this to record your ideas quickly so you don't forget them and just use them to reference in the future, I think this will be fine, but it doesn't record high enough quality to release anything. I think the only real use case for this is just improving your computer's audio if you're Skyping and talking to people online, but for gaming, for music, I don't see it working for that. All right, guys, well, I guess that will do it. If you have any more questions about this microphone, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you found this fun, interesting, or helpful, thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, thumbs down. If you want more of these videos, go ahead and click subscribe and click on the logo in the corner. If you're interested in this microphone, as per usual, Usual, I linked it in the video description down below and don't forget to vote for the microphones you want reviewed next as well as follow me on all the social media stuff links to everything in the description down below all right guys I'll see y'all later bye <laughs>